Onto a shaft. Onto a shaft. In this episode, we got a catch cook camp. We're spending the day out on the Pine River system, planning to drop a few crab pots. We're gonna try and catch a flatty or two. And uh, then in the evening, we're gonna set up camp and run out some shark baits and see if we can't pull in a shark. That's the plan. Let's get into the episode. Alrighty mate, well this is supposed to be a catch cam cook episode, so what do you reckon we set ourselves a challenge? No breakfast until we catch fish. That's fine to me mate, as long as we can have some coffee. Yeah, we have the coffee milks. Yeah. Coffee milks is a um, substitute. Well, let's get fishing. Good. The prawn! I, I need to not accept, not celebrate until it's in the net. Just let me swim him in the net, okay? Just deeper, put the net deeper. Yeah, boy! The prawn! Look at that, it's right in the corner of the mouth. 47. Legal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to icky this fish, put it out of its misery right away. I've got a spike here, so we're going to go straight in the brain. Put it out of its misery, give it a quick bleed. And that is the best way to take care of your fish. Put them out of your misery, bleed them so that you don't get any of the blood through the flesh. We're going to have some lovely little fillets off that. We're just gonna fill up this guy up right away. Get him in the air.
Oh, look at that. <laughs> that looks good. Shall we celebrate with a uh, ice cold coffee milk? That'll fix you. So, we've got one more crab pot left. We're going to take the platter we got earlier, use it as a bit of fresh bait. There's a nice little feeder creek up here. So, Sveto, if you can just take us around the front here, I'll dump it in. have been running so this isn't a prawning net but I'm just gonna have a crack man you gotta be in it to win it hey that's it and a prawn oh yes Come on. yeah we got a prawn <laughs> We're not bagging out, but a little prawn. That looks. Let's get that up next to this. Look at the size. That is perfect size. Spot on, mate. Brilliant. Oh, I just <laughs> just talked to him. <laughs> Sorry. He's he's not impressed. He's like. Really picking up them spines. Oh. Look at the spines on the back of the gills. And these spines here, he's really flaring them out. Oh, is he going to do it anymore? He was making a little grunting noise too. Yeah. Plenty of defense mechanisms on this guy. Come back. Part of exploring new areas. You got a strange idea of fun. <laughs> Sometimes you get stuck. Well, I don't know about you, mate, but I am absolutely famished. Time for some lunch. Been a good bloody morning, eh? Been a long morning. And this is home. Yeah, it's not too bad. One meter sliver up there that shouldn't get wet. <laughs> Woo! We got fire, baby. I am nice guy at the boat ramps giving us a um, a brim. He, he was hoping to catch more. He just got the one. He didn't want to go to all the effort for just one fish, so it's ours. Can't complain with that. So we've now got the flathead. Did you get his name? Is it Marcus? I think I'm so bad with names. I think his name is Marcus. Sorry if I got that wrong, right, mate. Thank you so much. Today, picked up some bait for tonight's camp to fish with. Got us all those yabbies and this collection of live bait. Alright, first bait's in the water and Pavi's on. I am suspecting it's a stingray, but it's a bit exciting for him. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a ray. Bit of fun. Got the walk back technique. The standoff. Come on. Who will win? Who's going to get tired first? Ray or Pav? guys, going to show you our shark reef. We're playing a little bit of shark fishing tonight. This is the way the whole thing is supposed to lay out in the water. Um, coming close, we'll show you what we got. 
We're going to brick as an anchor. On, onto the brick we've tied a little bit of eight pound. That comes up to our bait. We're using with freshwater eel. So what I've done is I've zip tied on this hook to get it to stick out like that. And then that goes on to our shark rig. It's 130 pound, I think, trace. Then we're on to some 80 pound leader. Up onto an FG knot, and then this is 30 pound braid. So the idea, guys, is the shark's gonna come and pick this up, swim off with it. He'll hopefully snap that eight pound without even noticing it was there. And then we're going to sink this hook into hopefully the corner of the shark's mouth. <laughs> that gets it going. We're going to do a little bit of a catch cook camp tonight and the cook component is going to be fish and chips and crumb prawns. That's it. Right, let's get it started. Pat's going to peel up some potatoes for me and I'm going to mull around and figure out what else I need to do. Put some eggs. Whenever you're doing a batter or a crumb, what you want to do is pre-salt your fish. What that does is it firms it up, makes it hold together a lot better, dries it out a little bit. This is the panko breadcrumb that I pick up from Aldi. This here is a lemon pepper herb crumb. I mix them about 50-50. I think you need to go and explain what you're doing. Peeled some potatoes, which we're going to make into chips. Now, what you really want to do is you want to parboil your spuds before you deep fry them. So you ensure that they're cooked. Dry them off with the tea towel, very important. And uh, then we'll heat some oil and uh, deep fry everything. For a pretty bloody good chip, just parboil, deep fry. So we've had our um, camp oven on the fire for quite some time now. We've put the lid on, try to keep the heat in. We're gonna check the oil temperature. And if it's okay, we'll dump the chips in. And Bob's your uncle. So what you wanna do is you just wanna grab a chip very carefully. Just test the oil. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Perfect. You've got a bit of sizzle. That's what you want. Oh, right. <laughs> Is it hot enough? I think so. Oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. It doesn't take long when Just... you parboil them. The chips we're actually cooked. All we're really doing is Just putting sealing. crispy coating on the outside. I don't know if I'll be able to see the... Uh... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Now standing with the camera. Yo! Yeah, we're, we're on. Viewers Shark at home. On. Shark is on. That's not working at all. We're onto a shark. We're onto a shark. Unfortunately, we've just realized we've had the camera on time lapse catching this lovely big about 1.2, 1.3 meter bull shark. That's food for us. So we're going to fill him up. What we've done is we've taken it, put it out of its misery. We're bleeding it out now. We're going to prep it up and get it ready later. To me, mate. Yep. One, one beautiful little secret with this is the person who does the eggs doesn't do the crumbs. Yeah, that way you've got dry hands while you're doing the crumbing. So what we'll do is we get have to do the flowers, which is actually finished. He'll, he will give it an egg wash. I'm going to do the crumbing. So now we've got our fish. It's all crumbed, the flatty, the brim, and the prawns. Oil is, you know, perfect temperature right now. It's cooled down a little bit after cooking all the chips. You can test your oil, make sure that. Oh, yeah, that's fine. It's, 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 it's not too bad. I might do some fish, not all fish. Do four bits at a time. Fish has been in this pot for about no, three minutes, four minutes. Pretty much perfect time. Come and have a look. Look at that, mate. Beautiful. We'll put him here. Get them all out. Get the prawns in. Fish them up, my friend. Prawns won't take too long, so we'll just pop them in. Prawns coming out first, are they, sir? They are definitely going to be coming out first. It will not take long at all. Fairly little. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Ooh, ow. Oh. Done. 
We are done. It's time to eat. Where the cookie go? something to point out is um and sometimes I go out I've been out more times than the number of episodes I've produced which at the moment is six I would have probably been out ten more times in an attempt to make an episode and yep it doesn't always go to plan things don't always work I don't always get enough content and sometimes I've just got nothing to put out for you so it's hard work doing this it's a lot of work out here it's a lot of running around a lot of backwards and forwards I do hope you enjoy it. I do hope you like. I do hope you subscribe. I do hope you help me in this journey that I'm on right now. Um, this is Pav's first episode, but it's not Pav's first trip out with me. We've actually been out two times before this in an attempt to make an episode, and things just haven't gone to plan. I did it. This has been a goal of mine for so long, this, this shark. I just want to point out, where this circle hook has landed in this shark. Look at that, right in the corner of the mouth. This is gonna come out nice and easy when we get to dealing with that. <laughs> All right. Got to deal with this. It's one of the challenges of harvesting your own food. We need to fill this fish up. I've put it out on an old crusty towel that I don't care about, that we can clean up later. And the reason I'm doing that is I want to keep the sand out of the fillets. Um, please don't judge me on this. It's the first time I've handled a fish like this. I might not do the best job, but I'm just going to do my best. We're going to get it done. Time to get up, mate. Alright, off to check the crab pots the next morning. Dun 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 dun. I feel the suspense. What have we got in this pot? Little girl. All right, we've got this one here. <coughs> I'll try that again. All right, we've got this one here on the feeder creek. Yeah, that's a that's a buck, mate. Uh, oh, yes, son. Uh, they're both big bucks. Oh, 
big boy. Yeah, I don't want to get. I don't want to get nailed by this guy. <coughs> Jesus. He's not looking about. You gonna try and grab my tripod off? Bloody hell, look out, mate. Yes, mate. Not bad. Hey. Look at the size of that one. Jesus. Yeah, those are some good claws. Not bad. What do you think of your waterfront views, mate? I complain. <laughs> All right, we've just been and checked the crab pots, and I think what I'm going to do now is put the drone up and give you guys a good look around at our campsite for the night. Oh, baby. It's 
It's so perfect I want to cry. Like it's, <laughs> it's so perfect. Well, Bass Man has just arrived, just in time for a little bit of that crab we picked up on this trip. Bit of crab mornay. 